Hello YouTube. Uh, I wanted to make a video about uh, Wemo light bulbs and Google Home and and what I did to make mine work. So first of all, I, uh, I was selling Google Homes on uh, eBay for 20% off. So I thought, yeah, I'll get one, a local one, and uh, paid $160 for it. I won't go into that because there's plenty of videos on Google Home and even Wemo starter kits. So I ended up buying a couple of light bulbs off uh, eBay because uh, one of the reasons I bought it was because they said, oh, Philips Hue, you need a, a bridge and Wemo light bulbs, you didn't. But unknown to me, when I receive these, it says requires Wemo link. What's a Wemo link, I thought. Anyway, so I ended up having to buy the starter kit which wasn't too bad. I found a guy on eBay and he was selling them for uh, $60. So I thought, oh great, this is a bayonet version for Australia. And it was really cheap. It was about half the price of about $110 anywhere else. But uh, yeah, the box came really beat up. So I guess that's why it's cheap, but you know, now that I've got this working, I might get some extras. So oh, my house already was full of LED bulbs, but now I've got these Wemo ones. So they're pretty similar. It's a little bit longer, you can see. These ones cost me $5 from one of those cheap Asian shops, and these cost me $50 on eBay. So you know for a while then I thought I, I bought the most expensive timer lights in in Australia but there we go and as you see I also bought uh, bayonet and Edison screw ones because uh, you know I've got a, a coach light outside the front door and that takes a Edison screw <clears throat> and even if you you can always buy adapters on eBay for converting your bayonets to Edison screws and vice versa for a dollar each. Okay, so I, I ordered my Google Home <clears throat> and that works, you know. I don't probably use it as much as I should, but uh, I had one room in the house where the Google Home wasn't working from, so I ended up I had to buy a network extender. I actually bought a wireless router bridge which you know was a waste of twenty dollars but anyway so I went out and bought a, a Netgear Wi-Fi extender they didn't say it was a European version so I have to live with this adapter that's okay so now I get good signal down the other end the only problem is for your Chromecast and your Google Home to work together they have to be on the same network and what a network extender does is creates a separate network. It has the same name, but has a different extension on the end. So I have to make sure that my Google Home down, down that end of the house is on the same network as the Chromecast at that end of the house. So it's a bit of fiddling around. You have to play with the setup on your Google Home. Is that uh, you can't change colors like you can with a Philips Hue and that doesn't really worry me too much I just uh, wanted a way to uh, light up the house and since I've had these installed now with the Wemo app you can I find that uh, they're dimmable from 1% up to you know, 99% and that, that's really handy so I can have it so they come on at a certain brightness they can shut off quickly or they can take 15 or 30 minutes to dim I don't know why you'd want it to dim that slowly but there you go and one of the things with the Wemo app is you, you can set it to come on at sunset or sun sunrise so I don't have to worry about having a hard and fast set time after searching on the forums I found out that Belkin is no longer making these LED light bulbs so that made me think that you know there's something wrong with the product and and I've bought a dud so I thought 
I would have to spend you know, another seventy dollars buying a smart things hub to get these to work. But I'll show you what I've done and how I got them to work. Now starting off with the Wemo app, you just download that from the Play Store. The uh, setting up the starter kit was easy. You just have to make sure that you search for the Wemo Wi-Fi network and once you connect to that, that later you know, logs into the, the main network. But the thing I had what trouble with was uh, connecting additional bulbs. Because I kept going into the Wemo app and when my devices came up, I couldn't see my, my new light bulbs that I had plugged in and switched on. So I was refreshing and that wasn't working. And what I had to do was go to settings and add a Wemo link device. And what that did, that discovered the two new bulbs that I bought. Now you notice with my uh, device names, I, at, in the beginning I was using a space between the words and that wasn't working because it, it kept reverting, reverting back to light bulb 01 and light bulb 02. So if you want two words, you have to put an underscore, or don't put a, don't put anything between the words, and it, they'll stay. In regards to Wemo and Ift, you just open your Wemo app. Now the first time I, I tried to set this up, connect to Ift, it was asking me to connect with my G, my Google account or my Facebook, and Google account didn't work it was uh, throwing up an authorization error and Facebook it was just giving me a blank screen so what I ended up having to do was download the IFT app and create a new account with a separate email address and password and after that it worked open the IFT app and then go to my applets you can search for ones that for turning lights on and off but I haven't found one that says turn Wemo light bulb on. You can get ones for Wemo light switches but not for light bulbs. So you hit the plus here and you hit plus for this. Search for services GW Google Assistant. Now I've already linked my IFT account to my Google Home. Oh, my Google Home machine. Now you click simp say a simple phrase and you just enter a phrase so you imagine that you're saying OK Google turn lounge light on and here's the thing with having Google Assistant okay, turning lounge light on. Oh, on your phone. Anyway I'm not going to put anything in here at the moment just a test and then you hit the tick and it wants to know that so the service that uh, is Wemo Light, so I'm going to search for that. And I'm looking for Wemo Lighting. And what do I want it to do? I want it to turn on. And here, because I've set up my devices in my Wemo app, I can see the four different. Okay, Google. Turn lounge light on. Okay, turning lounge light on. Okay, Google. Turn lounge light off. Okay, turning off lounge light. Thanks for watching guys, hope this helps.